right then. Past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous. Let's start by looking at the formulation. Past continuous. The verb to be in the past and the ing form of the verb. I was playing. You were playing. He, she, it was playing. You, we and they were playing. Let's look at the past perfect. Had and the participle for all the pronouns. I had played. You had played. He, she, it, we, you and they had played. And finally, the past perfect continuous had been and the ing form of the verb. I had been playing. And it stays the same for all the pronouns. You, he, she, it, we, you, and they had been playing. Right, let's look at usage now, starting with past continuous. The past continuous tense refers to an action in progress in the past either when a shorter action took place or at a very precise moment in the past. Let's look at some examples. We were playing cards when she arrived. He was sleeping when the phone rang. It was snowing at 10 a.m. yesterday. They were flying to Tokyo at this time yesterday. Note that the shorter action is always in the past simple tense. This past simple action may or may not stop the action in progress. Let's look at the timeline for the past continuous tense. We were playing cards that's the action in progress, when she arrived, when another action took place in the middle of it. Now let's look at the usage of the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense refers to an action that was completed in the past, either before another action took place, or before a very precise moment. Let's look at some examples. We had played cards. She arrived after we had played cards. He had slept a little before the phone rang. It had started to snow by 10 a.m. yesterday. They had left for Tokyo by this time yesterday. I was sure that I had seen him before. Note that the second or the later action is always in the past simple tense. Let's have a look at the timeline for the past perfect tense. We had played cards before she arrived. One action was completed before the second later action. Right then, let's move on to the usage of past perfect continuous. 
This tense refers to an action that had started, had continued for some time, and was still in progress. Either before another action, or before a very precise moment in the past. Let's look at the examples now. We had been playing cards for two hours when she arrived. He had been sleeping for a long time when the phone rang. It had been snowing for several hours by 10 a.m. yesterday. They had been flying to Tokyo for a few hours by this time yesterday. Note again that the second or later action is always in the past simple tense. OK, let's have a look at the timeline. We had been playing cards for two hours when she arrived. Right then, that must have easily clarified the differences between these tenses for you. Let's now look at some common mistakes. The most common mistake is using the past simple instead of past continuous or past perfect or past perfect continuous. Let's look at some examples. I saw the accident when I drove. Now here, clearly, one action was longer and was interrupted by another action. So one of these, either saw or drove, has to be in the past continuous. Which one do you think it is? Let's find out. That's right. Drove should be in the past continuous. I saw the accident when I was driving. Let's look at another example. I spoke when he put the phone down. Now, putting the phone down interrupted the action of speaking. So, spoke should be I was speaking when he put the phone down. Let's look at our third example. He was late because he missed the bus. Now here it's important that one action was completed before the other one. Which one happened first? That's right. He missed the bus first. So that should go into the past perfect tense. He was late because he had missed the bus. Let's look at another example. I didn't know that he left. Well, clearly, one action has happened before the other. Which one do you think it is? Right. The correct sentence is, I didn't know that he had left. And one final example. In this final example, you have three verbs. Walked, realized, and forgot. Two of them happened before the third one, which is realize. So let's change the verbs walk and forget to the correct tense. I had been walking to work for 15 minutes when I realized I had forgotten my key. Right then, 
just a couple of notes of some situations where you might see past simple tense used twice in the same sentence. If you use the past simple tense for both verbs in a sentence, it means that the two actions happened at the same time. Have a look at this example. He said hello when he arrived. The two actions happened at the same time. And they were the same length. Two quick actions. Another example. I gave it to her when I saw her. Also, if the two actions happen quickly one after the other, very close to each other, you can use the past simple tense instead of the past perfect. Let's have a look. For example, someone switches off the light and goes to bed immediately. You can say, she had switched off the light before she went to bed, or she switched off the light before she went to bed. Another example. I left as soon as we had finished because the two actions happened very close to each other. You can use the past symbol tense twice. I left as soon as we finished. Right then, that's all for the three past tenses we've looked at today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye now.